What's up everybody, it's Conger live. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider ninja kicking that subscribe button for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Okay, and today we have version 1.38 now available, so the UI is different. If you've been playing before, then you'll notice some of the changes here. So even how it says welcome back, you can now cycle store between the store bundle and then the offline production. They haven't added the claim now button yet, which they were originally going to do because of some other things. You still gotta click back down here, um, but it's still automatically giving you your your idle rewards. So they haven't added that. But uh, one of the first things they did is pretty cool. If you go to your menu and then you go to your quests, um, they've actually changed the way this looks. So they've separated it from like lair quests and adventure quests and heroes quests to make it easier to kind of progress. And then they have down here this like nefarious plot is when you get to a certain checkpoint, then you get the next um, the next tier of what the old like quest blocks were. So now I can collect a lot more quests than I could have before and I would be, I'll be able to pro uh, progress um, because I was locked behind this workshop 85. I could have also collected the 81 but didn't, hadn't done that yet. But now there's all these other Quests like this other layer quest, see these adventure quests, I can claim all these, these hero quests, I can claim all these. And that would just move me up, let me collect some more of those things. So I'll do that uh, probably during the next event. Um, so I'm saving that because of the rewards uh, for when I want to try and get Rock and Raff. Right? Um, so they said that layer pickup to actually collect your rewards, that should be coming out on the 5th of August, so pretty soon. Um, and then, other than that, one of the coolest things that they added to the UI is the battle report. So we're going to go into a battle. doesn't matter if we win or lose here, but this is a, a feature that some folks have been asking for for quite some time. So it's great that they've added this. So at the end of the battle, you can review the damage. Who did how much damage? How much damage did they take? Right, so um, very, very useful. How much defense did they gain? Very, very useful stat. So I'm not 100% on the defense gain, if it's how much they gained or if it's how much they gave out. Because um, I think how much they give out would probably be a more useful stat to look at than um, how much they gained individually. Um, so we will, we will see. So what we can do is we click info now, we have this new button, and it shows you know your squad defeat, enemy squad victory. Of course, if you won, you could see how much you won for. So the damage here, as you can see, April's not doing a lot of damage, but that's not why she's there, right? Uh, Splinter doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but look at Shredder, 310. Uh, Drag was not able to do much that match. This will definitely vary, um, be variable depending on if you're using him or not. And then Zorax also did really, really good, 273. Um, this damage with the arrow left is how much damage you took that character took so they took she took 74.2 uh splinter took 114 and this is a lot of time basically going to be their hit point, hit point pool um with some differences some uh, um adjustments made for this uh defense so i have a feeling this is the defense that they gave out so zorax he gives himself defense that's why he has a small number here um april gives a little bit out but uh splinter definitely gives the most which is why um, it shows right here uh, representation but they're very small compared to the enemy because the enemy scarred here huge amounts of defense he gives out when he uses ult to his allies um, doesn't really yeah this is it's pretty big surprisingly so um, yeah if you want to analyze further your battles the results detail pretty cool that they added that all right um I think in the hero squad box it looks the same you get to some more information when you go to level a hero so when I go to Zach and I hit level up now it also flashed the attack and the health bonus so if we hold this so you see it's gonna keep flashing I'm gaining 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 max defense health and attack so it's saying what what it's actually at and I'm, when you unlock a skill that looks the same all right so that's about it for the new UI. What do you guys think about it? Leave a comment in the section down below. 
Do you like the changes they're making or not? Let me know. Don't forget to ninja kick that like button and subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. We'll see you in the next video.